Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, tonight we're going to talk about how I like my coffee. I know there's a lot of jokes out there. You know, I like my coffee like I like my women. No, not me. I like my coffee like I like my markets. Free, organic, strong, preferably fair trade, and black. You know, I live right on the Alabama line. So today I did something out of pure curiosity. Didn't have any intention on actually using this new skill of mine. But I was really curious how it was going to be done. So today I learned how to conduct abortions. I'm not joking. Found out some really interesting stuff. Really interesting stuff. The pro-choice crowd <laughs> might be looking at this law all wrong. This new Alabama law might have misread it. Because we have this image of the back alley abortion that came from the 60s. Man, things have changed a lot. A lot. As we talked about in that other video, 97% of abortions occur before 20 weeks. Okay? Right after the screenings are done. That's that's when that, that's pretty much the cutoff point. Um so that's when they happen. Now, even using the very, very safe standards of a hospital, for half that time, abortion's done with a pill. It's done with a pill. Um, and I know people are like, well, that pill's going to be banned. Yeah, for that purpose. But the thing is, it's a multi use pill, it's prescribed for different stuff. In fact, if you're a big boy, I'm pretty sure that you could slam a bunch of Little Debbie cakes for those overseas real sugary sweet snacks. Walk into the doc's office, he'd probably prescribe it to you. Um, so <laughs> it, it seems like it's going to be pretty easy. Now, after that point, you know, assuming they'll probably push it. All right, you know, these are, these aren't doctors doing this, so they'll push it out to. 12 or 13 weeks using that method. That last seven weeks mm, gets a little bit dicier, but nothing like it was in the 60s because technology's changed. The tools are pretty much the same. You can pick them up, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks at uh, Lowe's or Hobby Lobby, which is really funny given Hobby Lobby's stance on birth control. Um, and yeah, those tools are the same, but see, something's changed. Something big's changed. Technology has advanced. Back in the 60s, it's not like, you know, the guy's going to bring over a sonogram machine, do an ultrasound, right? Nah, couldn't do that. But you can today. I know what you're thinking. Bo, that's crazy. You know, uh, I mean, those things have got to be expensive. Yeah, I looked. They're on eBay. Cost about as much as an Xbox. So, and that is going to make that procedure a whole lot safer. It's crazy. It is crazy. So the, the worry was that it was going to limit access. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. In fact, it may increase access because, well, now the, the guy's going to come to you and come to your house. Think about that. In the comfort of your own home. It's probably going to be cheaper because, well, there's not as many regulations to follow. It's, uh, it's weird. There's no paper trail on it, nothing that's going to be used to blackmail you in the future. Since it's happening at your home, there's no protesters to deal with, nobody's screaming at you, throwing stuff at you, like good Christian folk. And uh, it undermines the belief in the infallibility of government. That little rebellion starts right there. Might be looking at this law all wrong. It's almost like prohibition doesn't work. It's almost like that's what all of recorded history has taught us and we're just ignoring it. We're just pretending like that that's not true and that's not the lesson. It's almost like this law will make things cheaper, increase access, limit regulation, 
limit people whining about it, and undermine the authority of the government in Alabama. It's one of the first rules of leadership. Never give an order that won't be followed. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.